Okay, Science 10. This uh, video deals with the how fast can you run lab, the pre-lab, if you will. So this, uh, some of the things that you need to have on your sheet, how fast can you run, and basically the purpose is to figure out how fast can you run in kilometers per hour. So, of course, we know that the speed limit in the city is 50 kilometers per hour. What's the fastest you think you could run in kilometers per hour? That leads to the hypothesis. I believe that I can run, what do you think? How many kilometers per hour do you think you can run? Uh, the background, how do you convert meters per second to kilometers per hour? So I'm just going to kind of give you the answer here. Um, we'll be discussing this later, but one meter per second is equivalent to 3.6 kilometers per hour. Therefore, when you have your speed in meters per second, because that's what we'll be measuring out in the hallway, you simply multiply that answer to get kilometers per hour. Um, list of materials, measuring tape, stopwatch. I do have 20 meters measured out in the hallway, so just tell me when you're doing the lab and I can uh, tell you what the distance is and even help you with that. Um, stopwatch, of course, safety rules, tied shoelaces. Make sure your pants are pulled up. I know some of you like to wear your pants a little too low, and I've had people in the past actually have their pants fall down as they're running, so let's try to avoid that. So measure out the distance. Uh, either get a partner or you can get myself to help time you how long it in fact takes you to go 20 meter sticks in length. In the data area, distance traveled will be 20 meter sticks uh, and of course the measurement that you're taking in the lab is how many seconds it takes to in fact do that. To figure out the average speed, uh, we'll use this formula here, VAV, which is average speed, equals delta D which looks like a triangle D, but it's delta, which is distance over time, delta T. Change in distance, change in time, or just simply distance over time. So your 20 meters divided by your seconds will give you how many meters per second your speed is. And of course, the follow-up here is to take that number, multiply by 3.6, and you'll get kilometers per hour. When you're done that, the usual thing we have in a conclusion what were you going to do? The purpose was to, so simply restate the purpose. What did you think would happen? It was thought that I would be able to run X kilometers per hour, and then what did happen? What happened was I actually ran Y kilometers per hour, whatever it should happen to be. Then a couple of easy follow-up questions here. All I want you to do is tell me, uh, 1A, what is the fastest land animal? And then B, how many kilometers per hour does that animal run at? So relatively straightforward, simply the only thing you're going to be measuring is time and then uh, using the formula there to calculate your speed.